Hi again, uh, following on from uh, yesterday's reflection, yesterday's reading in Philippians chapter 2, uh, Paul in verse 19 introduced us to the idea of Timothy coming, travelling to visit um, the, the church community. And as we move on to verses 20 and 21, we, we read a little bit more of uh, why he's doing this and, and who Timothy is. Verse 20, I have no one else like him who will show genuine concern for your welfare, for everyone looks out for their own interests, not those of Jesus Christ. There's a, a roaring testimony, isn't there, to the, the value of this friendship and also to the spiritual maturity and gift that Timothy is to Paul and to the wider church. No one else like him, no one else who cares it genuinely for people and is, is out to, to kind of look at you and, and chat with you and really delve deeply with you into how you're living for Christ Jesus. He, he's not interested in his own things, in his own agenda. Tell me about Jesus. Tell me what Jesus is up to and uh, tell me how I can encourage you in the ways of Jesus um, in all that you do and in all that you are. Paul, the, again, these are all things that Paul would love to do himself, but he can't. So he's sending somebody who he trusts, and he clearly knows very, very well to, to do a trustworthy job, to, 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 to seek the welfare, uh, to edify the people that he's going to in the name of Christ Jesus. Now, yesterday, I invited us to think about a good friend and somebody who we might be good friends to. Uh, how can we um, fulfil the, the, the purposes, the agenda of Christ Jesus when we're meeting with them? Yes, it's great, as I suggested, to catch up and catch up with news and family news and all of that sort of thing. But what about spiritual news? How, how good are we at delving deeply into how can I pray for you? How can I really pray for you? What's going on between you and God at the moment? What are you working on together? Now, how can I be praying into that? How can I be encouraging you? Uh, and, and what can I be asking our Father to give you through the power of the Lord Jesus Christ himself? Loads of potential for such uh, a conversation. And uh, let me encourage you, let me urge you to start off in these conversations. You may think it's a bit difficult to get on to spiritual matters, but just, just start by saying, how can I pray for you at the moment? And let's see what response comes. Because often I find uh, that people then start to really open up. You've spent an hour maybe together chatting, but towards the what appears to be the end, how can I pray for you? Then the real conversation can come out, the spiritual burdens, the pains, the joys, and uh, the the, the, the desire that we have to get closer to God through Jesus. Just an idea, please, as you reflect on this passage, reflect on, on our response to it and uh, on how we might be the, the close friend that that person needs or the representative of another close friend that that person needs as an encouragement today. Let's pray. Lord, Help us to, to carry your interests. Help us to humble ourselves, uh, to, um, to humble our own interests, our own desires, our own conversations, uh, topics for conversation, but to think about what would Jesus do? What would Jesus be saying? How can I encourage you in the power and presence of the Lord Jesus? And then help us to be bold enough to do so, Lord, I pray. Amen. God bless. Try it. And uh, I'd love to hear from you how you get on. Take good care now.